Hey everybody, I'm Johnny Skull. I'm back. It's another installment of late night snacking. I'm kind of in the zoo tonight. Kind of. It's right there. You probably walk over and hang in the zoo, but playing a little safe here. <clears throat> Good to see you guys. Um, just back from a trip to North Carolina where I was with David Foy who owns Blazing Foods and is my partner in Chase the Heat Hot Sauce. Uh, did some great things there and I'm snacking today. What we got tonight for our snack is from Blazing Foods is corn nuts. These are his Carolina Reaper corn nuts. Pretty cool. Um, let me give you the ingredients on this thing. Man, I ate a lot of these when I was there. <laughs> uh, here we go. The ingredients are uh, corn, corn oil, peppers, Carolina Reapers, Trinidad Scorpion, Seven Pop, Brain Strain, Ghost, and Buccalochia, sea salt and spice, um, some garlic and some onion. Really, 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 really a delicious snack. Now, when I was there, uh, some pretty cool things happened when I was there. Somebody's cleaning up behind me. It's a restaurant. I thought they were closed. I guess they're not. Uh, so I, uh, one day when I was, you may have seen the video, I made a sauce. First sauce that I made. Pretty cool. It's called uh, uh, Johnny's Mediterranean Mojo. Here's what these things look like. Now, it's interesting, these are hot. The taste of these are absolutely incredible. The light's not gonna do it justice, but they're coated. And they have a, you can taste some of the garlic and some of the onion, but the pepper taste is like, absolutely in your face. So this um, sauce, Johnny's Mediterranean Mojo. got ricotta peppers, scotch bonnets, uh, Carolina, uh, habanero peppers. From there we had, uh, had some Kalamata, Kalamata olives, some capers, some onions, mushrooms, some garlic, some black garlic, some garlic infused olive oil. It's actually a really nice, uh, oh, it's a bunch of cilantro. But it's really, really a neat sauce. I like it. I think I have a bottle going to Brian Ham's. Brian's a good dude. He's a friend of mine. Got a great channel. Been watching him for a long time. Really a good guy. Um, he's going to do a, a review. He's going to review Penango. And he's going to review uh, Johnny's Mediterranean Mojo. So I'm kind of excited about that. There's a whole lot of cool things going on right now. If you guys have been following the Capsaicin kids, my friend Aaron, today Aaron got a heart transplant. He's doing well, I'm told. The Capsaicin kid, keep praying for him, man. I need to eat some pods with him. I'm making a video, I'm good, thanks. But uh, he had his heart transplant today, and he's doing well and being on his own. Isn't that great people walk by and want to talk? Oh. How rude. Here, let me show you. That's her. Make her famous. Anyhow. Not letting her steal my joy, so Aaron has got a new heart. Man, I'm so excited about that. We've been praying for that kid for a long time. He's a great guy, the Cap Chasing kid. He and I are gonna do a review together at some point. But so many things. I'm gonna do a review with, I'm gonna do a collab with Brian Ams. Kind of talked about that briefly. New sauce is coming out. I got a bunch of things I can't tell you about. I'm, I don't mean to be like that, but. You know, I think um, these are spicy. For me, they're like a one, two. They're, I mean, this would be more than a five for a non chili. For a non chili, I'd more than a five. Probably a six, or maybe seven. Probably six. But um, I think every sauce maker has things they can't tell you about because they're working on stuff. They don't want to let the cat out of the bag too soon. So they just don't sit in front of the camera like this all the time. Or they'd be teasing with it like I am. 
Got to talk about something, right? But I do have some great stuff coming your way. What we need is COVID to go away. Because I need to get to Australia. I'm done talk. I'm done. Listen. We're like DEFCON 4 here. It's getting ridiculous. Like COVID, give me a break. Got on the flight. I want to show you. So, a lot of guys know I have asthma, right? It's a mask. So I got, kind of, mine's kind of cool. I got a hole in my mask for the goatee. So I had to sit on a plane for the better part of six hours, two different flights with this on. Now, if you have asthma and you wear this, it's like an artificial asthma attack, just immediate. And part of the problem of an asthma attack is the sort of a traumatic thing, not to be able to breathe. You know, you get used to it. So when you can't breathe, it's sort of like you get worked up. And it's a scary thing. And the more you get scared, the worse it gets. So I knew I wasn't having an asthma attack, but for six hours, I had to wear that thing. And a trip to Australia is like, See ya. Three hour flight to LAX, two hour flight to LAX, 17 to Australia. I'd hold my breath that long. I need to get to Australia. Bray, do I need to get to Australia? I mean, try to be nice about it, but it's killing me. So, anyhow, this morning I went to. I don't know if you saw it. This morning I had a food challenge at a restaurant. Taco Molino. Chef Scott made a incredible Hellfire fish taco, Scoville style. We dropped by and gave him some mash and some Carolina Reaper powder. We said, you're the chef. Make something gnarly. He made the most delicious fish taco. It was really great. I probably only got to a two on my scale. It wasn't meant to be like a challenge, like I couldn't eat it. It was meant to be a really spicy meal, and it was the best spicy fish taco I've ever had in my life. It was a long time to be in the zoo, you know that? Anyhow. So I miss you guys. You know, I made videos. Every day, but I felt away. I don't feel away right now. I feel home. Isn't that weird? This isn't my home. COVID! Anyhow, I miss you. I really did. I'm not just saying that. You guys gotta understand something. I do this every day with you for years. Every single day, a couple times a day, I do this with you. It's really important to me. I, don't, I wouldn't know what to do without it, without you guys. So, I'm gonna wrap this video up because we got somebody coming here. I got a funny feeling it's gonna get crazy. So we're gonna wrap this thing up right now. Guys, if you, if you wanna get some stuff from Blazing Foods, go to the description box, click the link for Blazing Foods, you're gonna love it. Um, right there, you're gonna see a pepper, click that pepper, become part of our channel part of our family. If you've never done that, click the bell for notification and miss nothing. Right there is League of Fire. They're the WWE of the Chili World. Right there are two relevant videos. You, I love you. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this was Chase the Heat.